Surely this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 When I think about uh, the God that had me here last Sunday, <laughs> and then kept me last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, then he kept me yesterday, Saturday, and then he kept me today, brought me back today, and yet keeping me. My soul cried out, hallelujah, Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, amen, for saving me, amen, amen, truly, somebody laid down last night, somebody laid down yesterday, they had plans for today, and guess what, they didn't wake up, didn't wake up this morning, amen, amen, I thank the Lord, I thank him this morning, probably around 7 probably 7.30 or somewhere around there. I must have heard about boom, 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 seven or eight shots in the area where I live. And then shortly after that, I heard just a host of sirens. And then all of a sudden it got quiet. And I said to myself, oh, they must be assessing the situation, amen. But I thank God, amen, amen. God is a good God, amen. Can we just give the Lord some praise on this morning? Can we just magnify the Lord? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, bless his name. He's worthy of all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. Amen. It all belongs to him. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. I'm trusting you. So very good, so good, 
us. It admonishes us how we ought to enter into the house of the Lord. Amen. And it says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. If you believe that on this morning, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. I said give the Lord a hand of praise if you believe it. If you believe it, well, clap your hands like you really believe what you just read. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise. I said give the Lord a hand of praise in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The scripture says be faithful. Be faithful unto him. Has he done anything? Are you on this week? Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Let's make some noise in this place. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Give the Lord some hand praise. Just don't watch me. I hope you brought the sacrifice of praise with you on this morning. I didn't come to see who's here on this morning. I didn't come to see what you're wearing on this morning. But if God has been good to you, you ought to give the Lord a hand praise. Oh, go ahead on and give the Lord a radical hand praise. Give him a crazy hand praise. Amen. this morning. <laughs> I'm going to have to praise the Lord by myself on this morning, I see. Hallelujah. Let's look to the Lord. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you now, Father. We thank you for this day, Father, a day we've never seen before, Father. We thank you for last night's rest, how you watched over us as we stumbled and slept, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, you didn't allow no evil to come in and overtake us. And for that, we just want to say thank you, Lord. We 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 say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Truly, somebody laid down last night and didn't wake up this morning. And you've been good to us, Father. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves, Father. Pray, Nancy, that you come on in this day, Father. For you said, what, well, two or three gather together in your name. All you need is two or three, Father, touching and agreeing on anything. You said you'll be in the midst, Father. We invite you in on today, Father. For you said in your word, you inhabit the praises of your people, Father. When the praises go up, Father, the blessings come down. Sickness leaves, Father. Depression leaves, Father. High blood pressure, Father. All the sicknesses and illnesses that's in the house on today, it leaves, said the Spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, pray and ask, Father, that you go into the convalescent homes, Father. Hospitals, Father. Look in on the sick and the shut in everywhere, Father. In the name of Jesus, touch right now, Father. For, Lord, if you touch everything, I'll be all right, Lord. It's like the woman with the issue of blood. If I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. Make us whole, Lord, today, Father. Whole in our spirit, Father. Whole in our mind, Father. Whole in our body, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord. We've been better to us than we've been to ourselves, dear Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, continue to look in on the city of Flint and surrounding areas, Father. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Father, you sit high, you look low, you omniscient, Father. You know it all, things, Father. You said in your word, I know what you have need of before you even ask at the Spirit of the Lord. He said, and then when you ask, you ask in you, you ask in doubt. In the name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you, Father. We love you on today, Father. Father, I say a special prayer for Deacon Sanders on today, Father. I pray and ask that you look in on him, that you touch him right now, Father. Touch his body, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. Sister Sanders, Father, touch him right now. All those that are on the prayer list, touch Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father. For the blood still works. The blood still works, Father. In the name of Jesus. Everything that is body that isn't like you, I rebuke it right now. I send it to the pits of hell from which it's coming. And I lose that anointing. For it's the anointing that destroys yokes. In the name of Jesus. We just thank you on today, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. There is a bomb in Gilead. You are that bomb. In the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Father, because you're the greatest of the physicians, Father. In the name of Jesus. You made these old bodies, Father. You know all about them, Father. I command everything in our bodies today to line up with your word. In the name of Jesus. We just thank you on today, Father. You've been good to us, Father. Father, I cannot help but think of your goodness. You're such an amazing God. You're such an awesome God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for just being you. Hallelujah, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, and Father, I pray that you're looking on the backsliders on today, Father. Did you bring them back to the fold before it's ever too late, Father? I pray and ask, Father, 
that you look on those that have a mind today to say, what must I do to be saved? For Lord, it's your will that all men be saved and that it is your parish, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I just thank you, Lord. When I don't have nobody else to turn to, I know without a shadow of a doubt that I can turn to you, Lord. Because you said you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And you change it not, for there is no variance in you, Father. You change it not, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you on today, Father. Help us to lift up your name on today, Father, while we have a chance, Father. For we know tomorrow is not promised to us, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you, Lord. We bless your name on today. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you for it now. In Jesus' name, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Nehemiah, the second chapter. If you have your Bible, get your Bible, get your Bible, get your sword out, get your sword ready, you got your Bible, your phone, get it out. Nehemiah, the second chapter. Nehemiah, the second chapter. Verses 11 through, uh, let's do 20. Amen? And, no, verse 11. I'm sorry. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. And I rose in the night, and some true man with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I roll up on. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dung port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain and the king's pool, but there is no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then when I up in the night by the brook, I viewed the wall and turned back and entered by the gate of the valley and so returned. And the rulers knew not whether I went or what I did. Neither had I as yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them, ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lie at waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come, and let us build, somebody say build, build. up the wall of Jerusalem, yes. that we are no more a reproach. And then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good up, upon me, as also the king's words, that he has spoken unto me, and they said, let us rise up and build. Yes. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. But when Sambalek, the Horonite, the Teobite, the servant, the Ammonite, the Jism, and the Arian heard it. They laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, What is this thing that she do? Will you rebel against the king? Then answer I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. But ye have no portion nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. And the word of the Lord is blessed. As I was reading that, this thought came to my mind. It's just a rhetorical question. What are you building for the Lord? Amen. Amen. At this time, you're in the hands of the Ministry of Music. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, right now. Knees and worship at your throne. 
lift our hands and we bow our knees and worship at your throne. Oh, we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, right now. One last time, will y'all help me sing this? everybody that's in attendance on today. Pray that you will bless each family represented in a very definite way. Say it in your word to ask and it shall be given. Seek ye shall find. Knock and the door would be open. 
And we're leaning on those words today. Those that are sick and afflicted among us, I pray that you will send healing virtue and that you will let them know that the saints are praying for them and God is their healer. Touch us one by one and name by name. Those that might be operating in discouragement, I want you to encourage the hearts today. The race is not over. You can give us strength. And so I pray for your strength today for those that may not be as strong as others. Strengthen us now that we will be able to run this race with patience. Now I ask that you will touch these lips of clay. Teach me what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. Hide me behind the cross. Let no flesh glory in your sight. Let my highest place be at Jesus' feet, and I will magnify and praise your name forever. Amen. God bless each of you to Reverend Clergy, Evangelist Jones, Sister Heiter, uh, to everybody that the Lord loves. I understand some of my family is here on today. Uh, it's just good to be here. In the last uh, three weeks, we've had uh, two members in our family that made transitions in uh, Texas, but uh, the Lord woke us up again today, and I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm going to be speeding a little bit today. I might walk slow, but I'm speeding. Um, I, I, I worked, I worked diligently on a message for today. Um, I had to change my subject. I couldn't find all of the definitions that I wanted to find, so I had to change the subject. And I'm saying all of that to say that I covered your prayers. <laughs> um, I'm happy for salvation. I'm happy for salvation. Had it not been for the Lord who was on my side, where, 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 where would I be? Picked me up out of a horrible pit place my feet on a solid rock and establish my going. These are not just words. This, it happened for me. And God bless you, Sister Ida, for getting us to this point. I'm sorry I missed it. Um, I want to talk for a few minutes about who the sun sets free. Who the sun sets free. Um, I hadn't intended to use the word free um, at first um, because when you start talking about freedom and free, any of us in here can talk for a long time because if we didn't experience not being free, we read about it. And some of us have had the experience. But I'm so happy to know that I am free in him. And my subject today, who the son sets free. Who the son sets free. God have an interesting way of helping me with my messages. 
Sometimes I don't appreciate the help until I get here. This morning was one of those mornings. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what the Lord did to me. I'm going to tell you the mistakes that I made <laughs> in getting ready and how he showed himself at the end. Because as I go in to the message, it's, it's, it's going to be designed to show you that even though you may be free from sin, there may be other things that will have you in bondage. That there are things that can get you in bondage in your mind even though you are full of the Holy Ghost. And so I want to, uh, I want to show you how things can happen to get you in bondage in your mind with all the Holy Ghost that you have. I don't care if it's dripping off your fingertips. Flesh is flesh no matter whose bones it's on. And this morning I had that experience. <laughs> I had worked and worked on the message and thought I was all set. And I went to the counter and I, I, I like as I age, I become more repetitious with what I do. Uh, like if I put my keys somewhere, I try to put them in the same place. Every time. <laughs> Thank you. My, my, um, my money clip, I put it in the same place. Every time. Because I don't want to be running around looking for my money clip. I have credit cards in it. My driver's license are in it. It's important to me. And so after I was already dressed, ready to walk out of the door, the only thing I needed to do was pick up my money clip ran to where it was supposed to be. It wasn't there. Ran to another place that perhaps I placed it there. It wasn't there. So I did what any good husband ought to do. I asked my wife if she had seen it. Oh. Haven't seen it. My son came over a few days ago and uh, we did the uh, license plate thing online because my birthday is on the 29th, so we were getting tabs and the last time I could just remember seeing it was laying on the counter. and. I felt myself getting frustrated. And then the Lord spoke to me and said, remember your message for today. I don't want you to be in bondage in your mind and you have to preach. And I was saying that, Lord, but I don't want to go and preach to the congregation and don't know where my money clip <laughs> is. I want to feel free when I speak today. And I wasn't feeling that freedom, even though I was full of the Holy Ghost. So the last time it was real clear, it was like on the counter, 
the trash bin is sitting kind of over under the counter. And uh, so, you know, I haven't told Sister Hyatt of this, so don't y'all tell her. <laughs> so, you know, I just said, yeah, she probably accidentally knocked it over in the garbage. And when I make it back home, I got to go through the garbage trying to find my money clip. And then I said, but Lord, I don't want to go and preach with my mind in bondage. I need you to set me free before I go and stand before your people. And so I went back and, 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 and looked again where I thought it might have been. And it wasn't there. Sister Heider was already out in the car waiting on me. Car running. And I'm still thinking, she done knocked it over in the garbage. Is it okay if I tell off on me? I'm not, I'm not going to bother you. I'm going to tell off on me. So as I was looking in the last place, and I made up my mind that I'm, 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 I'm going to just have to go without it, the Lord said, Take your keys to your truck with you. So I just, I, I, now, she was driving the car. I wasn't going to be driving the truck, so why would I need my truck keys? But I was just obedient and picked up my truck keys. And as I walked out to get in the car, I unlocked the truck, opened the door to the truck, and guess what I saw? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm here to preach free today. <laughs> I, got, I got my money clip. <laughs> Got my mind set free. Here we go. <laughs> Before I start, can, can I just get an agreement that there are times things happen that will try to load your mind up even though you're saved? That it sounds like I'm in the right house. See, I, okay, I'm in the right house. John chapter 8, verse 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If the Son, Therefore, make you free. You shall, ye shall be free indeed. And, and I never found the definition that I really wanted uh, to have for that indeed. But uh, to me, it seemed like it ought to mean uh, completely, uh, all together. You, you are just absolute, some, look like some emphasis is being placed on whatever was said prior to indeed. And, and, and so if the Son therefore shall make you free, you are free indeed. And so you are free from sin. You are free when you can't find your money clip. You're free. 
Some translations will use the word set. When, 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 uh, whom the, uh, the son sets free is free indeed. But others will use the word make you free. But it doesn't matter which is used. It's talking about our liberty. And if anybody ought to be free, believers ought to be free. And you understand how a person can act or react when they believe that they are free. Uh, you take a freeman and a slave. The freeman just act, talk, <laughs> and said things differently than a slave. And so we are free in Christ. We know that the son that's being referred to here is the weos son, the weos son, which means the mature son. Jesus did not go to the waters of baptizing until he was the mature son. The mature son is able to take care of the father's business. The father can release anything into the hands of the we are son. There is another son, that's the technon. That son, you can't just release stuff into his hands because he may not be old enough or he may not be responsible enough, but you can't just release things into his hand. But when you come to the we are son, he, he has matured and he's able to be the priest and, and the father can put his business in his hands. And so now we understand that this is the son that we are talking about. This son, uh, this, this, this son is the one that's saying if the Son set you free, you are free indeed. Just let me kind of pause and say this to you. I do understand that this portion of scripture is, is talking about uh, the Jewish people and, 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 and they felt like Abraham was their father and so they didn't understand this freedom that Jesus was talking about. They said, we have ever been in, I understand that this is where the conversation was, but I don't want to just deal with that uh, today because I want to kind of rush and get to the freedom that we need to have today because sometimes I can stay just wrapped up in the scripture in the word and you might not think that it's applicable to you today but I'm trying to come down the street that I live on and perhaps you live on it was interesting how the scriptures got started in John chapter uh, verse 1. In, in the, uh, Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. And that was just it, period. He went to the Mount of Olives. Then verse 2 talks about him going into the temple. And, and he sat down. To teach them. And as he was teaching them, he encountered the scribes and the Pharisees. How many know that you can be in the temple? But that doesn't mean that the scribes and Pharisees are not there. Sometimes they come to the temple. Uh -huh. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, this, this church is not named the temple. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and, 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 and the first thing they did was wanted to question Jesus about a woman that uh, was taken in adultery in the very act. I, I'm not going to bother with that much, but my mind always gets kind of turned around. Uh, how y'all catch her in the very? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about it. And so they started questioning Jesus talked about what Moses' law said. And they even called him master. And said, now Moses' law says this, but we want to know what do you say ought to happen to her? And all of them were ready to stone her. All of them were ready to stone her. I'm real careful about people who's ready to beat up on somebody else too fast. <laughs> I got something going across my mind now. I sure wish I could say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would go to Living Word, but I, I, I don't like driving over that driveway. They ain't got it fixed yet. <laughs> well, I just left that part. That wasn't in my notes. I just, that came to me while I was talking. So you got to understand that there are some people that might not feel about you the way you feel about you, even though all are in the temple. And so I'm learning more and more that, uh, see, what they actually did was made provisions for this woman to be set free. Because when Jesus got done writing on the ground and he looked up and said, where are your accusers? And she said, I have none. And he said, neither do I accuse you. Go in peace and sin no more. So they set her up perfectly to be free. And if the son sets you free, you are free indeed. I'm going to skip through uh, notes because I think I can. So the father, the father had not left her alone. She was in good company even though it appeared as though she wasn't. Then in verse 30, it, it starts getting interesting um, uh, because the Lord is speaking again. Uh, many believed on him, and, and there were some Jews even uh, that believed. And, and ye shall, verse 32, and you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. You shall know the truth. You, you got to be willing to accept truth. There are some people you can give them the truth. You can wrap it up, gift wrap it, put a bow on it, and give it to them, and they won't accept truth. Yet the only way we can be free is that we can accept truth. Whether it feels good. Do y'all think it felt good to me to stand here and tell you that I accused my wife of knocking my thing over in the garbage and she didn't? Y'all thought that felt good? That didn't feel good. But I done got old enough now to want to be saved. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I, I, I tell the truth on me. Yeah, I tell the truth on me. Oh, okay, Ooh, I'm getting off notes today. I, and, 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 and y'all know when a preacher get off his notes. Woo. Okay, well, in, in verse 35, and, and the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided. And then verse 36, where I started to camp out at. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free uh, indeed. And I, I've tried to make the point where you can be free with salvation. You can, you can get that part where you are free with the salvation of your soul, but you have so many other things that bombards your mind until when you come to the house of the Lord, you can't even praise the Lord for thinking of these other things. And we know that COVID is on the rise again. We understand that. And, and so we can't let our minds get bogged down uh, with COVID. And, and sometimes I, I, I get caught, I get trapped if I watch too much of the news that's dealing with racial issues. And if I'm dealing with racial unrest, if, if I'm dealing with the shootings in, in Buffalo, I'm, I, I yet can't get my head wrapped around going from one state to another state just to kill people of color. And, and, and then the children that were killed in Texas it, 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 it will get on your mind, but I stop by today to let you know that you yet need your mind free. I watch the news to get information, but I don't watch it the way I used to. I used to be able to watch CNN and every anchor that came up that could give the same stories over and over again. And I don't listen to the same story over and over again. Once I get the information, then I'm done uh, with it because if I'm not careful, and I'm not talking about you, but if I'm not careful, something starts happening in my spirit. Something's, oh, oh, oh my mind will get fogged up. My, uh, no, no, no. You start thinking about, ain't gonna do that to me. <laughs> yeah, so, so you gotta be careful how you handle your mind even though you have Christ on the inside, you've got to be careful. I had to be careful last week when the, the, the news was on and it was talking about this 10-year-old girl that got raped in Ohio and was impregnated and had to go to Indiana and, 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 and got an abortion. That bothered me. How can you rape a 10-year-old child? I almost said something, but I'll clean it. You, you, you low-down, dirty thing. Mm, that was real clean. <sighs> Decades of high inflation. How did we get to where we have inflation that's running so rapid now, higher than it's been in decades? And we must be careful. We must be careful as believers not to allow this inflation thing to get in our mind where we feel like our God will not supply our need. He promised to supply our needs according to his riches in glory. And I have to be careful who the son sets free is free in and, and, and so 
we get bogged down with the climate change and the global warming. We get bogged down with the war in Ukraine. And yeah, it's frustrating to me like it's frustrating to you. I, I get frustrated with poverty. How can we have such poverty in 2022 where millions of children are going to bed hungry with just a little food and dirty water? How do we get here? How do we get to where our food prices are rising? Housing cost is rising. Gasoline is rising. Automobile costs are rising. And if we are not careful, we let it bog our minds down. I stop by to tell you, the Lord said, whoever the Son sets free is free. Indeed. He's free. Indeed. When I was going to, driving back and forth to Kalamazoo and the prices took a spike, kind of like they are Taken now, I told the church one Sunday morning, I pump and praise. I pump and praise. I pump and praise. I'd, be, I'd have to drive that 125 miles one way. I'd be pumping. Lord, you know, you know, you know all about me. You know what I'm going through. You are my provision. I'm not dependent on anybody else. I'm dependent on you. I'm going to pump and praise. I'm going to pump and praise. When you don't have but a little, just pump and praise. Don't pump and complain. I'm going to pump and praise the Lord. Oh. And then as I rush to a close, I, I get down to this thing where I have to be careful about this age and uh, thing. I, I got to be careful that I, I keep my mind clear with this aging thing because there are some professionals that uh, feel like you done lived long enough and and we need to save all of this for somebody that's younger. And I had to fight with it just a, a last week or so ago. I'm trying to find out what's going on with my eyes. And I went to U of M. They drew 25 vials of blood at one time. They did an x-ray of my brain and x-ray of my head. And I'm sorry, MRI of all of that and then when I go back to try to get the results they are gonna tell me well we can't see nothing that's causing the problem <laughs> 25 vials of blood and and and, and yeah, 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 I mean I was glad to know that everything's all right up here it, it, it ain't just all twisted up <laughs> I, I was glad to know that. But then when I got done with that, I said, well, Lord, look like it's me and you. Look, look like it's me and you now. I, I, I thought when I went to U of M Kellogg, I, I had gone to the best. And, and when I went to the best, I was kind of relaxing in it. And I felt comfortable that they would find something that they could help me with. But who the sun sets free is free indeed. I told the Lord, it's you and me now. It's <laughs> it's you and me. And so my point as I close, I just want you to know that it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter how high inflation rises. It doesn't matter what the cost of gasoline is. Ah, God said that I will supply mm, your every need. Ah, he said, don't take thought for what you're going to eat and what you're going to drink and what you're going to wear. If, if I take care of the birds of the air, 
will I not take care of you? I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for what you do. I thank you. I, I'm just here to tell you uh, that God will take care of you. I'm, I got the peace of God uh, down in my heart. I, I got the peace uh, that surpasseth all understanding. Uh, and he's going to guard uh, my heart and my mind. Uh, through Christ Jesus, my Lord, who the Son sets free, is free in that deed. Thank you. <laughs> no more doubts. No more chains uh, holding me. I, I have been set free. I, my soul I, is resting. I, what a blessing. I, I'm free. I, I'm free. I, I'm free in my mind. I, I'm free in my spirit. I, I'm free in my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And I told him, when I was getting ready to leave this morning, I told him if he would let me be free here today, <laughs> that I would give him praise. Praise is what I do. Praise is what I do. All along, I give you praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. I extol you. I adore you. I magnify you. I make your name big. Thank you uh, for the money clip. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you. <laughs> My, I might have gone a long way around to get to this point, but what I need to tell you is that I know you say, know you say, know you sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. But is there anything else that's trapping your mind? Is, is there anything else that's bringing you into bondage? Is there anything else? He said, I came. To set the captive free, I came. I came to set the captive free. That's, that's all I'm trying to say is that he came to set the captive free. I know it can be tough sometimes. That wayward son that wayward door and you're waiting for him to come in you're waiting for that telephone call you, but I'm telling you I'm telling you I know you feel it but don't let it weight you down don't let it bog you down stay free in the mind stay free in your spirit you know what and I'm closing now. The world look at us and wonder how do we do it? How do, how do you do it? Because some folk can look at us and know what we're going through. They can know what we've been through. But when we come
come into the house of the Lord, and not just when we get here, but when we come into the house of the Lord, you know, we enter into his with into his with yeah yeah you paying the same thing everybody else is praying paying for meat and paying for bread and, and, and paying for gas you paying the same thing but when you come here you get your dance on Talking to my son yesterday, I, I tell uh, you, you look, y'all know what I can praise. Y'all looking at a guy? I, I mean, on the 29th, I, and I'm happy now. So I tell my age, I tell my age when I'm happy. I don't tell them. And, uh, I, on the on the, on, the, on the 29th, I'll be 77, and 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 so you are looking at a guy that paid 18 cent for a gallon of gasoline. And, uh, 25 cent for a loaf of bread. And, uh, you, 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 and, and when it was five dollars, I was still pumping. You think I don't owe him a praise? <laughs> Father, we thank you now. We praise you for who you are and for what you do. We understand we're living in some difficult times, but I pray that you will envelop us, put your arms around us, put your hand around our minds, encourage our hearts, Keep us strong, keep us vigilant so we can bring somebody else up from the pit that they may be in. You said ask, ask, and we're asking. We're asking for the healing of the nation. We ask for the healing of the nation. We will glorify you. We will magnify you. And if there's anybody that's watching on social media or that's in-house that have not accepted him as your Lord and Savior, this is your moment, this is your hour. Don't let it pass you by. You can confess him as your Lord and Savior. Lord, I believe you. I believe Jesus gave his life for me. I believe that on the third day he got up for my justification. And because he got up, I get up. I get up from all kind of situations and circumstances. So save today to the utmost. To the utmost, Jesus saves. To the utmost, Jesus saves. Those that will be traveling, I pray that you will give them traveling grace. Jesus In Jesus' name. He will pick you up and turn you around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus to our several homes that you will take us there and that you will bring us back at the appointed time. May the grace of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, 
rest and abide with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Bless it. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face to